Hello everyone, my name is Puneet. I am from RV College of Engineering. My topic is about underwater robotic vehicles manipulator systems. Now what do you mean by underwater robotic vehicles? These are the autonomous vehicles which travel under the surface of water with or without any interference of humans. These vehicles are also called by different names such as aqua boat that is aqua means water plus robot which gives aqua boat. Next unmanned underwater vehicles where there is no human presence in the vehicle and they are also called as underwater drones etc. These are basically two types remotely operated underwater vehicles and autonomous underwater vehicles. These types I will explain in the next slide. As I said the first type is remotely operated underwater vehicle. These are tethered by the use of Bluetooth or Wi-Fi by an operator as shown in figure A. The launching and recovery of remotely operated vehicle is done by a subsea cage like that is as shown in figure B. The communications in this is also done through tethering like sending and receiving the signals, data and images etc. Now the next one is autonomous underwater vehicle. These are programmed robotic vehicles which are operated without any real time control by humans. That is they make their own decisions based on the mission they have allotted to perform. They also change the plans based on the environmental data which are received by sensors and other components etc. They have their own power source and propulsion unlike ROV. They use lithium ion batteries as power source but the use of solar power is still in testing. Now as we know our earth surface is covered by about 71% of water. There is a zone called aphotic zone where there is little or no sunlight that penetrates into that, into that zone. This zone is considered to be the lightless zone since less than 1% of sunlight penetrates. This aphotic zone has a range of as a range of 200 meter to 1000 meter but the zone beneath 1000 meter or 1500 meter is considered as deep sea. Until today very little research is done and known about deep sea hence underwater robotic vehicles are very important in exploring it. It's not easy to explore the underwater. We come across several challenges which are faced during underwater exploration. They are high pressure that is the atmospheric pressure increases by one atmosphere for every 10 meter depth. The next is orientation and navigation which is a difficult as there will be several rock and other particles that exist. Next is collecting and sending the data. The network underwater will not be strong as it is in air. So this one is major challenge phase. The next one is the power supply and size and weight, reliability and maintainability, cost etc. These are several challenges. Now the manipulator system. Manipulator is nothing but a robotic arm which is used for performing the operations in underwater vehicles. These are equipped with one or more underwater manipulators. Unmanned underwater vehicles with several manipulators are called as underwater vehicle manipulator systems. These manipulators are connected by sequence of links through revolute joints when the grippers are attached at the end effector for performing the required task. There are several operational areas of manipulator systems in underwater such as power station surveys under the water surface, destruction of mines that is if there are any ancient mines are there underwater. Next inspection of dams under the surface of water which will be difficult by the humans. Next investigation of sunken objects. In oil and gas industries for the exploration of any oils or gaseous substance under the water. In sea life and environmental research for discovering the sea life animals and other etc. These are as shown in figures. This is a picture of a manipulator system which consists of several sensors, actuators, grippers arranged as shown in figure. So now talking about the future perspectives, as I said earlier, diving deeper and deeper into the ocean, we come across several new discoveries. For that, development of deep sea robots must be done. Then advanced processing capabilities and more efficient power sources are needed for more complex tasks. We can also combine the advantages of ROV and AUV to obtain a hybrid vehicle which will be a very efficient than the individual one. Then. This picture shows a remotely operated vehicle in real time underwater dam construction. As I said in the previous slide, advantages of ROV and AUV can be combined to obtain a hybrid vehicle. As you can see in the slide, ROV mode plus AUV mode combined together to get an hybrid mode. Another future perspective is that creation of bionic robots. By using the principles and methods found in nature, that is, the vehicles can be designed based on marine animals such as fishes, sharks, crocodiles, etc. for the exploration of animals. This field is still in research. Some techniques of this is also being used. Thank you.